Good evening, everybody. Today we are in Stewart, Virginia, and we are going after Roanoke Endemics. So uh, our main targets are Red Lip Shiner, Roanoke Hog Sucker, Rusty Side Sucker, and uh, Orange from Mad Town. If an Orange from Mad Town decides to show up, it'll show up. The water's a little higher than the last time I caught one, so I'm not really expecting one, but I am expecting one of the suckers, at least one of the suckers. So. Um, yeah, let's get the nice start. All right, so I'm fairly certain I only already found a rusty side. It's kind of hanging out up over there. So uh, we're just going to try and find some bait for it first. Some little caddis slide would do. I'm just going to check the bottom of rocks until we find some juicy. All right, so we got a little piece of caddis slide tied on there for the rusty side. Hopefully we can find it again. I'm going to turn down the brightness in the headlamp so I don't spook it too fast. Oh, there's a couple. There's a couple of rusty sides. Wow, there's a lot of rusty sides. Okay, there's three. Mad Tom? Got a Mad Tom. Got a Mad Tom. What species is this? What species? Oh, it's a margin Mad Tom. Heck yeah. Why did I. Those rusty sides are gonna be gone by the time I get back. Why did I go after. Ooh, spiny. Why did I go after you? Anyways, this is a margin mad tom, Notaurus insignis. It does sting and it is venomous. It won't, it'll just cause pain. It won't actually hurt you though. But yeah, you can see there why they call it margined. All the fins are margined. Now, if this were an orange fin mad tom, only the, the lower lobe of the caudal fin would have the black margin on it. So that's how you identify this fish. But yep, lives in, lives in all types of habitats. As long as there's rocks or like uh, woody debris to hide under that you can pretty much find it and it likes cold water those two factors Whoop, There it goes slipped out of my hands. It does not like light as you can see But yeah, sometimes at night uh, You can see their like tail sticking out and you can just pick up a rock and they'll just stay chill that one not really There it goes. Let's catch these rusty sides You know sometimes just be like that like you're going after one micro it's being real stubborn then another kind of rare one shows up and you just you just gotta take advantage of the situation. Oh, oh god, it sucked it up. Oh, it took off. Why? So usually when I scare off fish at night, like they're just gone forever. They find another spot and then they just rest there until the night's over. I never see them again, but here they're Oh, it's freaking out. 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 See rusty sides are like this. They they just don't eat at night. Every now and then you'll get one that eats, but it's it's so rare. That's pretty much the only way of seeing them is just going after them at night. Otherwise, they're, they're just like torrent-loving habitat. It's just impossible to get in with sight fishing. Or, you know, cast fishing, I guess. See? Such a bait. How is it stealing the bait like that? It's a sucker. Its mouth is literally the easiest thing in the world to penetrate with a hook. Oh, I got it. I got it. I got it. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. I got it. I got it. Woohoo! Yes! Oh, that is a rusty side sucker. Woohoo! The Barnia Hamiltoni. Yeah, it sucked it in the mouth. You can see that in the mouth. Oh my god, it only took two hours. Jeez. I mean, it took just as long the first time I did it, but oh my goodness. That is a cool fish. Took me so many tries to catch this fish. I don't know why it was so hard to hook in the mouth, but you can see it's in the mouth there. Oh, that is so cool. So, as you'll notice, this fish is extremely similar uh, to the torrent sucker, and that's because they're both in the genus Thobernia, along with blackfin sucker. Blackfin sucker is a little more distant though in that genus. Um, the way to tell this apart from uh, Thobernia rothoka is that Thobernia rothoka, their lips are just slightly uh, not quite as tall as on a rusty side. You can see the lips there. And um, I'm fairly certain, I might be confused here, I'm gonna, might have them foot plopped, but um, the, the rusty side sucker, their semi plicate on the lower lobe of the lip is further up into the lower lobe of the lip. There's less plicate on the lower lobe of the of the lip of a T. Hamiltoni. 
compared to T. Rothoka. Oh, also one more thing that's really interesting about this fish. Um, if you'll notice by the range maps, T, okay, the torrent sucker, so T. Rothoka does occur in the Roanoke along with T. Hamiltoni, even though they would probably hybridize instantly if they ever occurred in Simpatry. Rossi side sucker only occurs in the Dan, Mayo, and uh, Rock Castle Creek in the Upper Smith. So the torrent sucker occurs in the actual Roanoke drainage. Now, this has been hypothesized that it could indicate geological changes and the drainage is like history you know as to the dude that hog sucker is feeding that's probably dude when hog suckers are that small actually you can't really identify them but yeah this fish only occurs in three streams in the entire world that is so rare dude i don't know it i think it was proposed like some kind of protection but that was denied i don't know why this fish is not protected species oh so cool Birdie and Hamiltoni going back. I gotta take a break after that fish. I had, I was literally, I don't even know what time it is. It's probably like 10.30. I was probably literally leaning over that riffle for like an hour and a half, just trying to get one end bite, which is exactly what last time was like the first time I caught one. Oh man, so uh, now, I think, uh, I haven't seen, I've seen a ton of mad toms. Uh, every time I see one, I look at their caudal fin, it's all been margin mad toms, no orange fins. I haven't seen any Roanoke hog suckers too. The first time I came here, I saw like 20 Roanoke hog suckers. But I haven't seen a single one. This I saw one, but it ran off before I could get a chance to look at it. So, um, that's the next goal now. Catch a Roanoke hog sucker. Hopefully red lip. I don't know if red lips really like to eat at night. And that'll be, I think that'll be it. Cause it's getting kind of late. This place is very bedrocky too. I don't know if y'all can see that, but um, it's pretty much where the Blue Ridge dumps out into the Piedmont, this location here. We had to set a block net there once and that very deep, they, uh, that, that's random sampling for you right there. Just picks the worst locations, which is what it's kind of supposed to do. I mean, prevent bias when you're setting nets for sampling. Oh, got it. Got it. Heck yeah. Yep, that's a mountain red belly dace. A big mountain red belly dace. Wow. Alright, so that is a mountain red belly dace. Uh, Crosomus aureus, or oreos, whatever you want us to call it. <laughs> um, you can tell it's a mountain red belly dace and not any other Crosomus because the midline on its body is broken in the middle. Uh, I can draw over it there real quick instead of. Um, instead of going straight but yeah and it has a bunch of spots on the top of its body the scales are very fine you can barely even see them but this fish has been described as the most colorful fish in north america when it's in spawning condition um rivaled only by the candy darter which also claims that title uh both of them occur in southwest virginia too which is nice i'm not i'm not going after candies you can't go after those anymore but that is that is a big round mountain red belly, probably female. Hmm. Nice. Let's let it go. Here it goes. Into the shadows. Also, I did see an orange fin mad tom over there. It was super tiny, uh, like the only one I caught before. And um, the red lips still aren't eating. So, huh? It's a big brown trout in here. Look at him. Whee! <laughs> Maybe that brown trout is where all the Roanoke hog suckers went. Oh, got it, got it, got it, got it. Yes. The channel icon. A red lip shiner. Natropus chilitis. Ooh, let's uh let's go back to the bank. Well, so that was a red lip shiner. Natropus chilitis. I'll put a, a little picture of it here. It's a chili fish, it likes chili. Looks like chili likes chili, it's chili. <laughs> um but yeah. Didn't catch any Roanoke hog suckers. Last time I came here, this place absolutely loaded with them. And now it's just loaded with margin mad toms. I don't I don't know what happened. Uh, I should have took the shot at the one I had at the, the Upper Smith River, but oh well. Might have a shot at one in Salem tomorrow. Uh, the Roanoke hog suckers, I feel like they really like 
coastal, not coastal plain, they were like Piedmont sandy environments and the Roanoke is just better suited for northern hog suckers. I swear like at least 80% of the hog suckers in the Roanoke around Salem and Roanoke are northerns, but uh, no, we, might, we might get lucky. Anyways, I hope y'all enjoy the video. I hope y'all enjoy this giant PNG of a red lip shiner. You can smash it if you want to see more content like this. So uh, I'll catch y'all next time. Thank you